This was a song that I had heard on the radio, funny enough, and... Wait, FM? Satellite. Okay. Serious. Sit close enough. At work. We'll accept Close that. enough. I never pay attention to any song that's on there for the most part. It has to be really good, really catchy, and most likely they have to play it ten times a day for me to notice, which they did with Royal Otis and their track Sofa Kings, which released March 31st, 2023. Label is Arnis. And let's see what ChatGBT thinks. So ChatGBT um, is, it, some of these are funny. It, it, and I think it has to do with when ChatGPT gets updated. Like when the large language model yes. cycle gets updated. So when we punch these guys in, it actually apologized. It, <laughs> I didn't feel it was sincere. It doesn't sound it. <laughs> I couldn't find any information about a band called Royal Otis in my current training data. It's possible that the band might be less widely known or not covered in the available sources. If there are specific details or context you could provide about Royal Lotus, I may be able to offer more assistance. We did not have any other details to provide. We just passed on that. Do you know anything about them? I know they are a two-piece from Down Under. Um, very surfer, kind of just good vibes. And they are just recently like blowing, blowing up. They're finally making it across... They're coming and playing some U.S. dates, and they're on. They're one of those bands that's on Alt Nation, that's on any indie, like they're cross cross genre, right? Very so, much so. so, so not cross genre in the sense like you would say, like a Post Malone crosses over into country, no. But in in the subtext of alternative the music, there's a lot yeah. of subgenres, and these guys fit into anything. Now, when we first attempted this, did, did you mention a live thing that they had? Yes, outside? so well, they just did a audio tree cover of Murder on the Dance Floor, which was brought back by that Saltburn movie. Yes. And since then alone, they've amassed like a million and a half Spotify And listeners. it's funny because soon after we did that, Spotify started adding not that track, but another track from that session yeah. to like its weekly alternative list. And it's that whole session is Rock amazing, solid. dude. All right, so picture Royal Otis real quick. We talked about it last time, but it never made it to tape. The one guy always covering his face. The other guy just looks like an Australian dude. And I don't know. <laughs> it's so Australian. Last know. time I had mentioned that that guy, that's not his thing, that his face does show sometimes. Okay. I've since dove into every piece of video I could find of them. Does not show he his face. He just doesn't show his face. He doesn't face. show his face. And he doesn't wear a mask, really. I mean... It's just the bangs the over bangs the eyes, and camera the angles. And, and I did see a couple press photos where they kind of blurred his face in a very strange way. Like, yeah. A couple of them, they did almost like a horror thing where they, like, shifted it. So I don't know what's going on with that guy. Maybe he just doesn't want anybody to know who he is. We Fine should, with that. We should DM him next. No complaints. <laughs> so this one is Royal Otis, the aforementioned. It's called Sofa Kings, and I can't express to so you excited. how much I love this fucking song. Oh, I said it again. Is there sound? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that long chair. This backdrop is exactly where I picture I am when I listen. Dude, summer, wind, mm -hmm. peaceful, glass of wine, maybe at Hawkeridge. Maybe. I don't know. In the fall. Could be. I'm in a flannel. I don't know. I, this like, his voice is so unique. It's hard to explain, like, sometimes the effect music has on you. But it's like, this is one of those songs that no matter what kind of mood I'm in or what's happening, it just, like, levels. Yep. You know what I mean? It's like... Evens itself out. Yep. Going back to Gale's ABCDEFU. Great play on words here. Sofa King. You're so fucking gorgeous. You're so fucking gorgeous. Come on. Not actually dropping. <laughs> Not saying it so they can still get radio play. <laughs> this song is just amazing, dude. For a two piece, too, I feel like the, the song sounds so much like they're making a ton of noise. I don't know yeah. exactly who's in their backing band or what else they have going on, but. 
looks like a baby, too. He sure does, dude. He looks like he's young 18 boy. years old. He looks like a midi on the Watertown lacrosse team. <laughs> I want him running first line. <laughs> he's our one. He's our one. And it's a simple song. Very simple. Complex. I mean, the chord progression is just... And maybe that's what I like about it and why it levels me out is because there's not a ton not of a like... Ton to think about. It's just like a very... Unbelievable, dude. I love when he plays up high on the front. I love how low his guitar know, hangs, too. Strap. That's an unbelievable <laughs> hang. He's gonna get back. He's gonna get scoliosis. It's funny that we notice stuff like that, but that scratch is an edge for me, man. I really want to know his deal. I wonder if there's... I, dude, I scoured. Hey, scoured. So you never saw his face, but you also never got an explanation? No, neither. I'm just left. No, uh, no. I walked in circles for an Just, I mean, so just good. absolutely. They just dropped three new singles, each of them better than the last. Listen to them. Listen to the new songs. Follow them on socials. Just yeah, go so see them live. They're coming to the U.S. For you're the first fully time, entrenched. You're, you're I, like. I would say, judging how my last FM has looked, they are <laughs> far and away the front runner for really? my number one band in 2024. So, so this is the question I always like to ask when people say, I love this band or, you know, I, I want to see this band live. And for me, it's a good gauge of your actual level of interest. Okay. How far would you travel on a Tuesday night and you couldn't get out of work Wednesday? How far would you travel and how much would you pay to see Royal Otis? Six hours. Wait, you drive six hours? I would hours? drive six hours Wait, to go see these guys. Each way? Each way. <laughs> Collective. I'd go down so to Maryland. You, you or, wouldn't sleep? No. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. God honest. Like, it'd be At a what? horrible Wednesday. 200 bucks? Would you pay 200 bucks for the ticket on top yeah, of the drive? Yeah, I think 200 would be the cutoff there. Holy I could justify shit. that to my... Because, I'm like, they're just coming over for the first time. Who knows when they're coming back? Yeah. You gotta, fuck, you gotta see them. Yeah, and look at what you did for Del Water Gap. I mean, you drove... That was a lot. Was <laughs> that was a lot. My car got stuck in... <laughs> it was a lot. <laughs> car vending machine until one in the morning. That was a lot. So as Chewy said, Royal Otis, help them out. These are the kind of bands that do need your help. They need your support to get over that hump. Touring on the U.S. this year. Yes. Yeah, they just announced very select dates. Uh, they're doing a couple festivals, but buy merch on their website, buy their Hit vinyls. Up. They need help. Royal Otis. And also, don't forget to smash, like, and subscribe. See, I did it. That was, that was you fun. said it with gusto. <laughs>